Welcome everyone back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. I have a good one for you today coming from your crock pot or slow cooker. Sausage, potatoes, cabbage, green beans, onions, and some delicious flavorings. Okay, you guys, you know you want a bowl of this. Come along and watch me put this together for you. show you everything I've got out that we're going to need to make our crock pot sausage and potatoes. Now for the potatoes I've got these russets that we're going to be using. I've got my smoked sausage. It's about a pound and a half. Now I'm going to be putting in half a head of cabbage because that's I pulled that out of my refrigerator and that will go really good with this. I've got green beans, another great ingredient. Now I've got salt, pepper, garlic, and some chicken broth here. Okay guys, let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start chopping up everything that I'm going to need to put into my crock pot here. I'm going to start off with my russet potatoes. I'm going to peel my potatoes. Now if you don't want to peel potatoes, that's totally fine. You can leave the peel on, just scrub them really good. And then you're going to whack them into big pieces. Okay, now as I'm chopping up my potatoes, I'm going to put them in a strainer. That way I can kind of rinse them off. Because as you're peeling and chopping the potatoes, you've got that dirt on the outside. And as you're peeling, it just touches the raw potato. And so I just want to rinse those off. Okay, now I was just finishing these potatoes off because these are what I had in my pantry and I don't want them to go bad. Now, if you have red potatoes or if you have like Yukon gold potatoes, baby potatoes, you can use those. With the baby potatoes, I would certainly just chop those in half. That's it. After you clean them up. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of these off and then I'm going to bring you back. Okay, this is a perfect dump and go meal. We're just going to put it all into the crock pot and let it go. That way you can go on with your day, help your kids with their homework, clean something. Whew. Okay, that one had a lot of something going on. <laughs> now these are medium, almost medium to small potatoes. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and cut them all. Okay, so just make sure that you're cutting your potatoes all equally, so they cook equally. Now the bigger you cut them, the longer they're going to be in the crock pot. Just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and rinse these off and I'm going to place these into my crock pot. While I was rinsing off my potatoes, I found an onion and it's going in. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned it at the front of the video with what I was going to be using, but you know, you can use anything you find for this. If you want to add carrots, if you want to add another vegetable, y'all go ahead and do that. Okay. Just cut this in half. I'm going to peel off the outer layer of the skin here. I want to keep these a nice chunky size, about the size of the potatoes. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then cut that into pieces like that. This is definitely one of those throw in your crock pot meals. Okay, now I've got my cabbage. It's already nice and clean. It's just half of a small cabbage. And what I'm gonna do is just cut this into pieces that are manageable. 
I want bite-sized pieces. Okay, now with my sausage here, I'm just gonna take off that end right there. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna cut these into about one inch diameter circles. Place those in. Oop. What I'm using here is a smoked sausage. So you could use any kind of sausage you want. If you have kielbasa or if you have the cheese stuffed sausage, turkey sausage, chicken sausage, now's a good time to pull it out and put it on in there. There we go. Okay, I've got some salt here I'm gonna put in because we have the cabbage, the onion, and the potatoes, they need to be nice and salty. So I'm gonna go about a teaspoon and a half. And definitely a teaspoon of pepper. Probably about one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic. Okay, I'm gonna add two cans of green beans that I've drained. Okay, we're gonna need some liquid. So I've got two cans of chicken broth. Okay, we're gonna go in, we're gonna stir this all up. Okay, let's place the lid on it. I'm going to cook this on high for four to five hours or low for seven to eight hours. We wanna make sure that the potatoes are cooked through and the cabbage is nice and tender. This has been making my house smell amazing today. I've got people in here just waiting. They can smell it, it smells amazing. You see the sausage and the potatoes, the green beans, the cabbage, the onions, all cooked down in that chicken broth, salt, pepper, and garlic. Oh my gosh. That sausage right here that flavored everything. All right. Ooh, there we go. There's my bite. Mm. Okay, look at that scrumptiousness there. Okay, look at that potato. Tender all the way through. I'm gonna try this one for you. Mm. Those potatoes picked up all that delicious flavor from the sausage and the gravy. That chicken broth down there, the green beans. Mm. Let me try one of these sausages. Mm. Okay, they're very tender. Okay, here's some cabbage right here. Well, it's hard to find the cabbage in there, but I put a half of a head of cabbage in there. You saw that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to take this bowl right here. Mmm. Okay. Okay, y'all, crock pot sausage and potatoes and put your veggies in there. I put green beans and cabbage and onions and then just flavored it with some garlic, salt, pepper, and a chicken broth. And all those flavors melded together. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching my show today. <laughs> okay, comment down below, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here 
are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.